Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today again we are going to be explore one more new thing in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. So today's topic is about a difference between direct procurement process and a indirect procurement process in SAP sourcing and procurement here. So let's explore much thing on this part. So starting from the direct procurement process. So what is exactly direct procurement process? So whenever we are purchasing the material for the production purpose, for example, like raw materials, semi-finished, finished, so that kind of the material which can be impact on your production and we are going to be keeping the stock of that material into our storage location. So that material comes under your or that procurement process comes under your direct procurement process where we have created the material master data. By using that material master data, we are going to be purchase that material. We are posting the GF and we are going to be keeping the stock of that material. And as per the requirement for the production purpose, we are transferring that stock to the production team for the production purpose. So that kind of the materials which will really comes under your or that much or that kind of the purchasing comes under your direct procurement process. So let's create a standard purchase order for the direct procurement process first, and then we'll discuss about the indirect procurement process later. Okay. So generally, let's create a raw material purchase order, select the supplier, then we can select the material for purchasing. So one of the raw material we can select here. That is the skill which can be used for your production purpose. So as of now, we have to just purchase 100 kg for our plant location GIP1. And for the storage location R1000, we are going to be keeping the stock of that material. So at a price of 450 rupees, we have to purchase that material. Check and let's save the standard purchase order for the direct procurement process. After saving the PO, the next stage is our what? We have to go for the inventory. We have to receive that stock by using the P code MIGO. We have to post a goods receipt note or GRN with respect to the purchase order. So this is the skill which is material master, which is already we have created before in the system. Right now we have to receive that stock. Click an item, okay, and check. We have to receive that material. But before receiving that, let me check the stock availability for this material in MMB T code, enter the MMB, select the material or enter the material number here and plant execute. So as of now, zero stock is available under our storage location. Okay. Then we have to receive that. Okay. All order stock is 1000 kg, 100 kg is here. Okay. So what we have to do? Let me post a good system check and post. After posting the goods receipt note, refresh the stock of the material. Right now, the stock availability under our plant GIP1 and RM000 storage location is a 100 kg stock is available. So this stock we are going to be keeping in our storage location. As per the requirement of the production team, we can supply or we can do the transfer posting of this material to your production team here okay then come back if you want to see the accounting entries for that gf go to the bigo and go to the display recently posted gf document info go to the fi document so you can able to see the standard document will be posting here that is for your vsx and wrx that Accounting entries are going to be for your standard goods that are for the direct procurement process. Right now, we can go with the indirect procurement process. So, first important change in an indirect procurement process is what? Here, we are not going to be creating any master data. We can directly create a purchase order with the account assignment category as a key for the cost center means this material is directly going to be consumed on that specific GL account and a cost center on that specific user department. 
so for example stationary kind of the items hardware kind of the items which the material which will be not impacting on your production purpose the cost of that material and the very low cost materials we are going to be purchasing under the this in a direct procurement process okay here we are not going to be keeping the stock of this material in our storage location because this is very low budget or low value materials and which will be not impact on your production so that's why directly consumption of that material is happening after posting the gr stock of the material is not going to be updated what we are doing second change is here in your while creating the purchase order we have to select account assignment category as a k for all center so as per your requirement you have to select that gl accounts and cost center we don't have any master data we can directly enter the short text as a suppose we have to purchase the stationary items here okay that is have a very low budget or low value items the account is suppose i want to purchase 100 stationary items are here we have to just mention material group because okay office supply i can just mention here for the GIP1 plant and for the storage location. And storage location is not mandatory. As I mentioned, we are not going to be keeping the stock of the material which we are purchasing under the indirect procurement process. So, here for the indirect procurement process, as we have selected account assignment category as a key here, system can trigger account assignment tab here, where we have to select GL code and a call center. This is for the accounting purpose. So, whatever the accounting entries for this indirect procurement process on this GL account and a cost center, it is going to be debiting here. Check. This is the change in your purchase order here. Okay. Let me check what is the, okay, ordering unit we have to mention. That is your each. After that, if you can click on a check, there is a no any error in the purchase order. Clear. Account assignment category. Then we have to select GL code and a cost center and save the purchase order. After the purchase order, next stage is our what? We have to receive that material by posting a GR here. Okay. Come back. Go to the Migo. Go to the goods receipt. Enter that purchase order number here. And we have to receive that stationary item. Check. Here, whatever the valuation of that material, it is going to be directly posting on this GL account and a cost center check and post it here. This is your indirect procurement process. So here, if we can display the accounting entries for that material and stock of the material will be not updating as this is directly going to be consumed. If I open the accounting entries, right now it is showing as a KBS and a WRS rating. Whatever the accounting entries, the consumption of that material, stationary items is happening on this GL account and also interval. So we are not going to be keeping the stock of this material here as posting the GR. Stock of material is going to be automatically consumed on this account. And finally, we are liable to pay to your supply for that much of the amount for these stationary items. So this is the major difference in your direct procurement process and a in a direct procurement process. Hope it's clear for you. Thank you guys. To learn few more interested things in SAP S Purana sourcing and procurement, please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and visit our page www.taxfees.com. Thank you.